Odd jobs don't necessarily have to be all that odd or bring in big bucks to make people happy. Art is one of those kinds of jobs, and for Caitlin Miller, art is not only a way to bring in a little money, it is also a way for her to express herself. Um, I don't think I ever really got into art. I've just been making art for as long as I can remember, honestly. Like, ever since I was a kid. For a while, I've been thinking about selling my art, but actually going through the process and having someone buy my art has just been really recent, like within this year. I've sold, um, I've sold a few pieces to like friends and coworkers, and that's just kind of how it started. That's kind of where it is right now. Selling her art is one way for her to get her name out into the community, and with the help of one local business, she was able to share her art with the community. For Jason Payton, who owns the Planet's Finest Gift Shop on Park Avenue, it is a pleasure to sell both Miller's and other local artists' piece. My passion's art. I'm an artist, so I wanted to give a space for artists to display their work just have a place to show it and you know send people because the entry point to getting a gallery is pretty high rent insurance all of that so we decided instead of just getting like a typical strip mall location like a lot of cbd shops do to get a spot that has multiple rooms that we can showcase lo local art as a way of giving back to the community for support Miller only recently started selling her art and finds joy in being able to sell her artwork to people who are excited about receiving it. The first piece she sold was to a coworker at one of her old jobs. I was really excited because she was really excited and she loved my stuff and um, she really loved it and then she took a picture of it in her home. I was like, this is the best thing ever. This is what I want to do. Although right now it's not bringing in a lot of extra income, Miller hopes that later in life art will become her job and a main source of income.